Okay, so here's a way we can figure out the strength of the air from this uh, Conair 3Q hair dryer with a brushless motor. Here we have an older Revlon dryer. This thing's pretty old. It's a brushless motor. Here's the typical fan. This fan is turned off. But what we're going to do, we're going to blow the hair dryer into the fan and it'll turn the blade. The more strong the hair dryer is, the faster the blade is going to turn. Okay, let's try this Revlon first. We'll turn the Revlon on full blast. The Revlon can turn the blade a little bit, not too fast, on high. Okay, let's plug in the other hair dryer, the Conair 3Q. And now we're going to put the Conair on to low speed and watch how it turns the fan. Okay, that's low speed. Let's go to high speed. So as you can see, so, so according to my rough calculations, this Revlon looks to be three to four times more powerful. Or I'm sorry, the, the Conair 3Q looks to be three or four times more powerful than a brush-based motor in this old Revlon. So I would give this uh, Conair a uh, heads up as far as wind velocity from this thing. As you can see again, we'll blow it in the fan. It really turns the blades in the fan quickly. And as you can see, this old Revlon dryer here doesn't have any oomph at all to, uh, to do that. Once again, here's the Revlon. I would say it's four to five times less wind. So hopefully this test was empirical enough for you people out there to figure out that yes, this brushless Conair is, uh, is quite an advancement in the state of the art of, of hair dryer technology. Okay, well, thanks for watching and have a great day.